Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing a keyboard application called Minimo. Like I said in my last video in this series, I'll be talking about some of the best keyboard apps. Last week I talked about Gboard to which I'll leave links up there, you can check it out. So Minimum Keyboard was released way back in 2013. Even though it has been more, more than 4 years since its release, the app has received regular updates and the app developers have tried to adapt to current trends by introducing smart emoji functionality and other features. It has over 500,000 downloads, paid and free version combined, and holds a pretty impressive rating of 4.3. I generally use the typing experience and typing speed as my measuring scales to assess the overall performance of a keyboard. So without further ado, let me jump into the application and get started. Starting from the layout, I rock a medium sized black themed keyboard. The letters are ingrained on a plain black background with the changing accent colors. It carries a decent set of themes. It also comes with the ability to customize the color scheme to your liking. The keyboard is highly customizable. You can adjust the size of the suggestion box, spacebar, or even the overall height of the keyboard. Also, you can make the keyboard float, that is, you can move the entire keyboard anywhere on the screen. You can adjust the width, make it left or right aligned, or move it to the center. Another aspect of the keyboard that I really find satisfying is the placement of number keys. In a traditional keyboard, a number line is stretched end to end you know, on a single row, but in a minimum, it mirrors a calculator layout, which makes it much much easier to enter numbers. I really dig this. The main selling point for this keyboard was about giving more screen space, so they have designed it to be as big or as small as you would like. It doesn't change the way you type because uh, minimum uses the same keyboard layout like other keyboards. It's just minimized here. You don't have to hit each letter precisely, simply aim in the general vicinity of the letter and minimum will know what you meant to type. The feature might find traction for phones with smaller screens or maybe even tablets. But my point here is that would it matter if uh, the keyboard takes a bit more of screen space because when you're typing you're paying attention to what you're typing and not to the screen. I mean it doesn't make much of a difference to me. The other important aspect that I want to talk about is typing speed. Out of 4 to 5 apps that I am testing right now, this is one of the keyboards where I am able to touch type surprisingly fast. I don't have to worry about precision because of the smart auto correction that learns as you type. This feature is quite reliable, usually converting a mess of text into the exact word I needed. All it needs is a predictive input. If you don't need this feature, you can just turn off the toggle button which is on the top left of the keyboard. In addition to that, the predictive text feature is amazing. Minimum's predictive engine learns new words as you type and does so rather well. And the number of predictions is not restricted to 2 or 3 like in Gboard. In Minimum, you get numerous suggestions. You can swipe through words in suggestion box and select the one you want. Not only words, depending on the context of the sentence or the word you typed, it will also suggest emojis, which I really like. This will avoid the hassle of switching between layouts to search for the right emoji in a list of more than 800. It also comes with a set of gesture controls which you can employ to further optimize your typing speed. Minimum supports over 12 languages which are mostly European. Now let's talk about drawbacks. There are a few ones I want to highlight. Number 1. Normally in a virtual smart keyboard, a misspelled word will be corrected when you finish typing the word. But in Minimum, what happens is, from the moment you start typing, the word will be predicted and auto-corrected till you finish typing the word. This makes it nearly impossible to see the suggestions while doing a search on Google, Facebook, Instagram or any other platform which has a search tab. This might look like not that big of a deal, but it is. Even though you can turn off the sloppy typing while searching, you will have to do it back and forth, which I would not prefer. I would rather seek a permanent solution to it. Number 2. The minimum keyboard does not have gesture typing feature, which makes it terrible for one-handed typing. Generally, most of the stock keyboards already have this feature, so the users will be expecting the same from third-party keyboards as well. Number 3. The current set of themes they have feel somewhat dull to me. I think they can introduce more vibrant themes or give an option to have custom backgrounds. Apart from that, the app performs fairly well in all other areas. In the end, Minimum delivers a smaller keyboard without sacrificing for accuracy or speed. The app is priced at $4. The free version of Minimum lets you try the app for 30 days, which should be more than enough time to find out if it's the right app for you. So that's been it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments and do subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.